Okay, over my screen over there, there's a session which is going on. And the problem is that if I cross this mining session, and the mining will stop automatically and I would be making some crypto back to my mining pool. So, and that is a very big challenge. So what I'm going to first do over here is I'm going to first show you that uh, I'm mining in the, the system is up being updated. So it was last updated in the past four minutes. And uh, if you check here, you can see the system is running. But the problem comes in that if I cross this session like this and I go back and I start this session again, you realize that uh, the session, like the mining will be stopped. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can um, keep your session working after crossing Putty Mobex term or your console. And without wasting time, let's get started. Hey there, my name is Scott from scottyg.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can keep your session running so that uh, you keep mining crypto even if you're away or even if you cause uh, your session or your Tamax, Mobile Stam, OT, and many other softwares which you use to SSH into your server. And one of the things we are going to use is that we are going to use um, a software or a module called Screen. And the other one is called uh, Tmax, that one. So those are the two things you are going to use, but the most powerful one is that is Tmax and that's what I'm going to show you. First, you need to first thing SSH into your server. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I've already SSH into my server and you're going to start the process which you want to keep running even if we cross the session. So first we shall start uh, the Tmax by entering that command Tmax. And then the next step is you to start the session. So you can see that we are into the console of Tmax. And what I'm going to do is to start the session which I need to keep running. So my session is to mine crypto. So I made a video on how to mine Monero using a server, using RDP onto this channel and feel free to check it out. But if you don't know uh, what, if you want me to take you through a few steps, all you need to do is to get a mining pool uh, if you can go over here and get a mining pool which you're going to use. So in this video, I usually use this mining pool, which is XML, XML pool, and uh, that's what I'm going to use, okay? Hope you can see I've, uh, I started this tutorial because I wanted to show you that I was mining some crypto or some Monero, and uh, <coughs> hope you can see that uh, the, the, there are some updates you can see. And uh, the other thing you need is to have uh, a Monero wallet. Hope you can see mine is there and uh, I use this for these tutorials. And after getting that, you need this software here. That is the XML rig, which you use to mine crypto. And after you getting all those stuffs, you need to first download the XML rig. Okay. Let's first go back to the main page. You need to download the XML rig. You select Linux because you are going to use Linux in there. You select uh, the generic if that's what you want. Then you click copy and uh, you paste it into your console. Okay, you just paste the console. You use that and uh, you paste the command. Okay, let's first clear this. So I made some errors. So you copy the command instead of downloading. You copy this. And then you come back to your console. You type in this command and then you paste you paste what you copied from the other side. And then you download your software. And after downloading that, you'll be given, uh, if you type in ls, it's clear. You'll be given, uh, you'll see that uh, at first you'll be seeing this command here, this file. And what you need to do is to uh, extract that file from your like to extract the contents and what you need to do is to use this command okay you just paste it and then you also copy this okay space okay after doing that everything will be fine to go and the next step you have to do is you see that the extracts and you just change the directory to that of the XML rig Okay, XM rig, XM rig six point one five dot zero. 
So we are in that folder now. Uh oh, yeah, I made some errors here. This is G. Okay, now what we need to do if we check in the what's in the directory of this, uh, in the folder of this stuff, you can see that uh, that is the, there is a binary for the XML rig. And what we need to do is to start our mining. So to start our mining, we only need to go back to XML rig. To XML rig and we click wizard. And then we click, we add new, new session or new configuration. We select the pool which we choose the other side. And you paste your ID, okay? So I'm going to copy my ID from this stuff here. Yeah? Okay, so I show you this ID because I'm not going to use it uh, anymore, so I don't need it further. And then what I'll need to do is to just uh, paste the ID in the wizard. Okay, then the next thing is you to select the back end and you select CPU only. If your server doesn't have GPU or graphics card, okay. Then the results, you come back, you scroll down here and you choose Linux and then you copy because you are going to use command line. And then you come here and you paste that. So, hope you can see that our mining app started and the system is running. So if I cross this session, like uh, if I cross this session, I'll cross it like this. And then if I come back and I check uh, where we are mining our crypto from here, you can see that it was updated just of recent and there are some shares which you've already gotten from our mining, okay? Now, this means that uh, we, we can mine or we can, uh, we can get our crypto, sorry, we can get our crypto just even if we cross our ascension, okay? So if we go back to our ascension and we connect to our server, you can see that, uh, you can see that uh, the system uh, will show us at first that uh, as if the session was crossed, but remember we used, the th we used the another module. So what we need to do is to first go get root, root provisions. And then what we need to do is to type in Tmax and then the word retouch, okay? Oh, sorry. I use that command. I really don't want to repeat things. Okay, attach, Tmax, attach. And we attach our session which is running in the background. Hope you can see. The session is still running and uh, we can use it. We can, we keep mining even if our or our stuff, uh, or our ascension is crossed. And we, if we go back to check, to check over here, you can see that uh, the system is still being updated, whether we are still logged in into the ascension or not. So this will help you a lot because some providers don't have uh, tissue or some, some console don't have a uh, Tmax or screen uh, automatically activated. So you just need to use it. I believe I explained each and everything in this tutorial and I'd be glad if I told uh, you subscribe, share and uh, comment on to this tutorial. That remains strategy, meet another video. God bless you.